Hi and welcome, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at how we can simply add images to the Lightroom catalog. I know that a lot of photographers prefer to use the operating system in order to copy the images from their camera cards to a specific location on their hard drive. Well, once you've done that, you still need to add those files to the catalog. So to do this, I'll click on the Import button. And on the left hand side, I need to select the source. So in this case, I want to add the Hong Kong folder to my catalog. As soon as I select that, you'll notice because I don't need to copy it, Lightroom will automatically choose Add for me. We can see all of the thumbnails of the images below. If I wanted to see one larger, I could double click on the image, that would bring it up in loop view. And then I could use this icon to go back to grid view or tap the G key. Over on the right hand side, I don't have as many options as I do when I'm copying the files from a camera card, but I can still choose my file handling as well as my apply during import options. In this case, I'm going to tell Lightroom to build larger previews, so I've changed this from minimal to standard. I'll go ahead and click import and Lightroom will start adding all of those images to my Lightroom catalog. Let me close the navigator panel for a moment. You can see right above that we've got a progress bar, so Lightroom has already added the images. It took a lot less time to add the images than it does to copy the images because they already exist on the hard drive, but what it's doing now is it's building those standard previews so that when I move from one image to the next, I can do so more quickly than if it just has the minimal previews built. We can see in the catalog area that I'm viewing my previous import, the 122 images that I just added, but if I wanted to see all of my photographs, I could choose the All Photographs, and then we could scroll down and I could see not only the Hong Kong images, but also the images from Singapore. If I move down to the folder area, you can see that I can look at just the Hong Kong images, or I can take a look at the Singapore folder. And if I wanted to see where these images are on my hard drive, I can right mouse click and say show in Finder or on Windows, show in Explorer, and sure enough, there's the Hong Kong folder exactly where I had it. We just added those files to the catalog, basically making Lightroom aware of them. All right, let's scoot back to Lightroom, and I just want to show you because we weren't able to rename the files on import, but of course we can always do that after the fact. If I want to rename all of these Hong Kong images, I would go under the Edit menu, do a quick Select All, and then under the Library menu, I can choose Rename Photos. I can then select from any of the preset templates that ship with Lightroom enter in any custom information. For example, I could type in Hong Kong, change my start number to one, and then click OK, and all of those files would immediately be renamed. So there you have it. It's just that easy to add images that you've already copied from your camera cards to your hard drive into Lightroom. My name is Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.